Hey everybody, this is the fourth here. And in this video, I will be showing you how the Fruity Fast Dist plugin works. And that's short for Fruity Fast Distortion, because this is a distortion plugin. Okay, so I have a drum loop here to show you the effect of the distortion. And here's how it sounds on its own. So it has a nice boomy kick, and that's why I selected this one. Okay, so let's hear how it sounds with the distortion turned on. So you have a few different parameters that you can adjust to change the character of the distortion. The first of which is the preamp. What the preamp does is it changes the volume of the input signal. So you'll hear, as I play the drum loop and play with this knob, you'll hear that the input will get softer and louder. And you can hear as I change the preamp amount, it didn't sound like it was getting a whole lot louder. Like it, was, it definitely sounded like it was getting louder, but there's kind of a limiting point. And that's because it's pushed against the distortion. So at lower values, you also heard that it sounded cleaner. And it was more distorted at high values. That's because if you put more signal into the distortion, the distortion is affecting it a lot more than if you put a lower volume into it. And that's just how these particular types of distortion work. Now you can also change how distorted your sound is by adjusting the threshold knob here. And that just changes what level the sound starts getting distorted at. So using lower values, your sound will sound less distorted. You can turn it all the way to the right and it won't sound distorted unless you're clipping the input. And more to the right will be full distortion. So I'll adjust this while I play the loop. And I mentioned unless you're clipping. Uh, so I'll adjust the preamp to show you what I mean there. So you can hear it's a bit distorted with the preamp all the way up like that. And that's because you can see it here, it's clipping right at the top, which is at zero decibels of input. And then you have the mix level. So if you want to kind of combine your distorted signal with your clean signal, you can turn the mix uh, to the left and you'll have the dry signal coming through. And that creates a pretty cool effect. It's kind of similar to New York compression, except with distortion. So, you know, New York distortion. Because it lets your drums, you know, keep some of that punch while having the distorted sound behind it. And then we have the post gain, because distorted sounds can get pretty loud pretty quickly. So you might have to you know, turn down the post gain so that your sound ends up at the right level. So the distortion stays the same, it just becomes softer, the final output. And then the last option you have is to switch your distortion type. And you do that by clicking the A, B switch here. And you can see the distortion curves in this window here. And each type has its own character. So that is the Fruity Fast Distortion plugin. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. 
If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.